Hello, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? And welcome to Transformation Tuesday morning devotion. I am truly excited um, because we are here every first and third Tuesday um, at 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Hey, sis, how you doing? Love you all. I'm grateful and thankful for this time that we are spending together. Um, today, I want to be able to talk about a conversation or topic talking about faith for hard moments. I believe that, that in this season that a lot of us, not just myself, but a lot of us are in moments of transition, moments of where God is transitioning, moving us from one place to another in, in some form of our lives, either in our personal walk with him taking us to a new place in him, um, either in reference to your business, whatever that might be, I believe through this conversation, we'll be able to have a clear understanding of what God wants for us. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to dive in this morning uh, to Matthew's, Matthew's chapter eight. We're going to look at Matthew's chapter eight. I'm going to read just a few verses of scripture. We're going to start at verses 23, and then I'll share with you what God has shared with me. Love you all, family. I see my wife and jumped on, my sisters and jumped on. I'm excited, excited this morning. So Matthew chapter 8, verses 23, starting at verses 23, this is what it says. Um, it says, and when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we, uh, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the seas obey him? I, I really want you to do me a favor. Um, I really want you to do me a favor and really hear in this conversation. Because what I believe, what I truly believe that God is going to be able to communicate with us is this thing that we need before we get into this thing called transition. No matter where you're going in transition, no matter what you're going to do in life, when God calls you or God is speaking to you or God is taking you from one place to another within him, in your relationship with him and what he's calling you to do, whatever that might look like or be, the reality reality is, is that you are going to go through some form of hard moments. I, I need you to understand this up top and up personal. When you're transitioning from one place to another, either spiritually, uh, physically, either in your business, either going from promotion to promotion, whatever that might be, I want you to have a clear understanding up front that you will go through hard moments moments. But in these hard moments, before we get deep into our transition, we have to make a decision up front. We have to make a decision up front is what we need before we go through the transition. What is the thing that we need that Jesus is even showing his disciples in here? What is the thing that we need before we go through the transition, before we make the decision to make the move, before we make the decision to say the words, before we make the decision to accept a promotion, before we, we make the move in our business? What is the thing that we need before we make the transition? It's faith. For those that are watching this live, I want you to put it in the comment section. I need faith. This is the thing that we need. And I'm telling you the reason why I can explain this clearly is because right now I'm in a season where I'm in my transition. And before I made my transition, I made sure that I had a clear understanding of knowing that I was going to need faith faith. I need faith in transition. Why? Because in transition, again, there are going to be hard moments. 
There is going to be a moment where it's something is going to come against you. There is going to be a moment where you might have a storm. There is going to come a moment where you might be emotionally strained. Um, um, strained. There might be a moment where someone might say something opposite that makes you doubt where you are. There is going to come a moment where there are people that you thought was going to agree with you that don't. There's going to come a moment where the thing that you thought was going to work the certain type of way might be looking like it doesn't. There is going to come a moment where it's going to be a hard moment. But we have to have what we see in the scripture. We're going to look at it again, but we have to have faith for hard moments. Now, I didn't say intentionally, I didn't say faith in hard moments. No, you have to have faith for hard moments because the only thing that's going to help you to get through hard moments is the faith that you had before you walked in the storm. Now, let's read this again. Let's read this again. In Matthew chapter 8, what I want to look at specifically is verses 26. Verses 26, this is what it says. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful? I'm going to pause here. I, I just really want to pause here. Have you ever had a moment where you were fearful because you didn't know how this was going to turn out? I just need somebody to be honest with me this morning. You have where you had you ever had a moment of where because of how the the hard situation was coming, because of how the thing was coming against you, because of what was was transpiring, because of how you might be emotionally feeling, because of what's going on, because it started to get hard. Have you ever had a moment where it started to make you fearful? If you had a moment that was starting to make you fearful, this is what Jesus is talking to his disciples about here. He says, why are you so fearful? Oh, ye of little faith, meaning you had faith before we got into this boat. Before we call, before I called you into that to, to transition, you had to have faith because you got in. But now, because of what's happening, because of what's going on, God is saying, "Why are you so fearful?" Now, this is the question um, that that even that even as I was taking the time to be able to really see what God wanted to say to all of us, this is the thing that God shared with me, Hiram. There's no need to be afraid. Because I'm with you. I I'm going to say it again. Hiram, there's no need to be afraid because I'm with you. Now, it will be another scenario or situation you should be afraid if you stepped out in the boat, if you stepped out doing the business, if you stepped out doing the thing, you stepped out saying what he told you, whatever that might be for you, whatever you area or category you're in, you should be afraid if you did it without him. But if you did it with him, he's saying, don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid. Why? Because I am with you. And because I'm with you, when you're doing what I'm asking you to do in this transition of life, there's nothing to be afraid of because I'm right here with you. What he was trying to get his disciples to understand, and he's trying to get us to be able to understand, don't worry about the waves. Don't worry about the hard moments. Yes, they're going to come, and they're supposed to come because they're coming because they want to make sure, do you have faith in the God that you say you have faith in? Do you really trust that he is truly with you? Do you really trust and believe that he won't do anything, won't put you in any place that will harm you because of how much he loves you. And he's saying unto all of us, don't be afraid because I'm with you. And if I'm with you, just trust me. Just have faith for the hard moments. Just have faith in me when the hard times come. Just have faith in me when it doesn't look like what you think it should look like. Just have faith in me because if you have faith in me, I want you to see something. I don't even th think I have it in here. If you have faith in me, then you'll get to the other side because the instructions does not change. The instructions does not change. If he told you that this is what God is going to do in your life, if he said to you, this is what I want to, this is what I'm going to have in your life. If he's saying to you, this is what I want you to step out into. If he's, if he's saying to you, this is where I need you to go into. If he's telling you this, 
it's because he's going to do it. So I'm going to ask you a question before we before we get off this, this devotion this morning. And I believe that this is blessing someone and helping someone. So before we get off of this devotion this morning, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe really that God told you to do it? Do you really believe that God said that he will do this? Do you really believe that God is with you? If God says it throughout his word that he would never leave you nor forsake you, there's also scriptures that he says that I'm walking with you. I, with you I'm holding you with my right hand. I'm, I'm, I'm walking with you. If you believe these things, then just have faith that I got you. I know it looks hard. I know it looks difficult. I know it might not look like what you want, but that's not faith. If, if it needed to look like the way that you needed it to look like in the entry, why do you need to have faith to walk in it? You don't. You only need faith to walk in it because you can't physically see <laughs> what's happening. You have to just believe. You have to have faith to believe, to say, I'm walking this thing out because I know that he's with me. God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. That's the one that's fighting for us. That's the one that's protecting us while we go through this journey. That's the one that holds you when you when you when you're feeling doubted and you want to cry and you want to break down. That's the one that's carrying you when you want to just give up. That's the one that I have my faith in. I have faith that God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. And this morning God says, just have faith for the hard moments. Because hard times come. The Bible says that the rain falls on the just and the unjust. There's things that's going to hit the hit hit the just just like it's going to hit the unjust. There's, there's hard times happening in every area of people's lives. But everybody doesn't make it through the storm. Some people trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But I trust in the one that can deliver us all. I love you all, family. Thank you all.